This journey will be at times richly rewarding and extremely difficult, but most importantly, it will be a journey you take together. Marriage is much more than your signatures on a legal contract. You're promising and have asked the people you love to watch you make this promise that you will want to be with each other and only each other for the rest of your lives. I made a list of promises to you I just had to write them down And say them out loud I feel so lucky that God gave me you Lift up everyone around I can't believe what I found But no one will you take my hand Just smile and say Catch me if you can I wanna take the longest trail with you The one that starts right when we say I do To Grand Marais and up the mountainside We'll keep chasing this I love so true Forever only running after you Yes, you know that I'm not a perfect person You know my flaws, my problems, and all of my weaknesses I've made wild mistakes throughout my life I know I have plenty more to make But somehow, someway God saw fit to bring you into my life. I still wonder almost daily how it's possible that God could have been so good to give me someone like you and bring just in such an incredible woman into my life. You are unquestionably a gift. You've helped me find my strengths and push myself to learn more and be better than I ever thought I could. And through your example, you taught me to be more caring and thoughtful even when it feels impossible. The life we have and the life we are building is crazy, <laughs> but it's crazy in the best ways. I know we have a lot of insanity coming in our future, but you're my best friend and there's no one in existence that I would rather go through it all with than you. I promise to always give you the absolute best of me. I love you, babesy. <laughs> Now I can't wait for the children we will raise I hope that they have your heart And you smile Well it used to be the home was anywhere I was And now it's only by your side I wanna take the longest trail with you that starts right when we say I do From Mary Hall to Brianna Drive To Grand Marais and up the mountainside We'll keep chasing this I love so true Forever only running after you Jeremy, if the past two years have taught me anything It's that together we can accomplish incredible things Buying this property, living in this house, building our wedding together. I could not have done any of it without you. Now that we are finally here and seeing all of our hard work come together, I'm happier than I ever thought I could be. Over the last five years, you've been my rock, my shoulder to lean and cry on, a warm hug when I need it most, smile and laughter when times are tough. Like the cookie I made you once said, you're my hero. Standing with you today on the ground where we have chosen to start our life and our family together. I promise to be by your side to continue to build our dream together. I promise to listen to the same song on repeat when we're in the car. <laughs> I promise to kill wasps if you will kill spiders. <laughs> I promise to be in your corner the same way you're always in mine. I promise to always say just how much I appreciate the things that you do, especially when we're exhausted and life is hard. And I promise to love you for the rest of our lives. And now as you place a ring on each other's finger, I should do that now. <laughs> I'll ask you both to repeat after me. Please accept this ring. Please accept this ring. 
Me too. Please accept this ring. <laughs> As a symbol of my love for you. As a symbol of my love for you. As a symbol of my love for you. I vow that our love. I vow that our love. Can overcome all things. Can overcome all things. That our love will unite. That our love will unite. Inspire and celebrate. Inspire and celebrate. And will do so for the rest of our lives. We got the shot. <laughs> it's my distinct pleasure to announce to all of you, Mr. and Mrs. Zillis. I wanna take the longest trail with you. The one that starts right when we say I do. From Mary Hall to Brianna Drive to Grand Marais and up the mountainside. Chasing this, I love so true. Through thick and thin, and even when the world has other plans, no matter what we face and where we land, well, I will always be your man. Be your Wanna take the longest trail with you The one that starts right when we say I do From Mary Hall to Brianna Drive To Grand Marais and up the mountainside We'll keep chasing this I love so true I wanna take the longest trail time, the best man who is not able to be with us here tonight has sent us a pre-recorded message for the bride and groom. Um, uh, sadly, I can't be there. Right now, I'm on board the USS Nimitz in San Diego, and I have to be out to see sadly, but I still wanted to do this for uh, Jason Jeremy. So, uh, it all started 22 years ago. Uh, we were making, with some kids, making giant coat hanger bubbles and me wanting to join their Bubble Team 6. This is the first of many adventures that Jeremy and I had together, ranging from school shenanigans, poor man donuts, working at the same job, uh, living in the same house, driving the same mom crazy. Thanks, Lisa. Uh, but naturally, as we grew older, our lives took different paths and different lifestyles, and we went our separate ways. Uh, at this point, we hadn't spoken for years, and this wasn't out of animosity, or, uh, you know, hatred or anything like that, but we're facing our own challenges in our own way. Uh, one day, though, uh, one day, uh, with one Merry Christmas text message and one reply, started a new adventure that has continued to this very day. I often wondered what would happen if I never sent that message to Jeremy, and uh, what if he never replied, or, or if he got a new number or something like that. But today, as in the wedding day, not today for me, uh, I realize how important a simple text can be. When I first met Jess, I thought, man, she's way too intelligent, way too elegant and polite for Jeremy. And for the record, I still think this is true. <laughs> Jess, you were one of the kindest, most thoughtful and understanding people I've ever met, especially, especially dealing with Jeremy and I. Um, and because of you, Jeremy has become a new level of himself that maybe he didn't know existed. You both have worked so hard to make this wedding happen and for all these beautiful people and Eric to come here today as witnesses to all that hard work. And for that, Jess and Jeremy, I'm extremely proud of you guys. I now know more than ever that if I never would have sent that text message and Jeremy never would have replied, I would not have the opportunity to meet Jess 
and be a part of something so beautiful. Even though I can't be there, I still feel like I'm a part of it every day. Um, and it absolutely kills me, but I'm still eternally grateful. I'm thankful for Jeremy for being my best friend and my brother. I'm thankful for Jess for being a friend to me and a new sister. Um, so I'd like to make a toast um, to Jess and Jeremy. Uh, may fixing up their house and building this wedding be the first of many things that they build together in this new chapter in their new adventure in life. And I, for one, look forward to the memories that we will share together to Jeremy and Jess. Uh, lastly, I just want to give a shout out to all of Jess's family. Um, I haven't met you. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting you. I uh, hope to meet you someday soon. I'd also like to uh, thank the Zimfer family, uh, Lisa for putting up with me for all those years back in the day, and Eric and Adam for you guys treating me like uh, family all those years ago. And I wish all of you today, even the cows that are walking by, fair winds and following the seas, and, uh, you know, on your next adventure. Can everybody hear me? Yes. yes! Except for Ryan Willis. Your opinion doesn't count. All right. Hello, everyone. Before I dive in, can I just say how beautiful my best friend looks tonight? Yeah. What a goddess. And Jeremy looks, he looks okay, too. For those who don't know me, my name is Letta, and I have known Jess since our freshman year of high school. I don't want to give away our age, but that is half of our lives and then some change. We won't go there. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. We have a lot of stories, but I promised I would keep it PG. Um, even back then, Jess had just creativity beyond measure and incredible attention to detail, traits that she most definitely inherited from her mother, Lucy. I'm talking to two of them would treat our school spirit week like a challenge. They are legendary. There are pictures. I didn't find any, but there are pictures. Crazy hair day when most people are doing weird ponytails, pigtails. Jess has her hair plastered all the way to the sky, painted blue. She, she won. My favorite was mismatch day when us basic folk are wearing crazy shirts or different colored socks. Jess has her entire outfit and shoes on completely backwards and somehow even managed to put her boobs on her back. <laughs> You remember, yep. A little trick I think some of the boys we went to high school with are still scratching their heads about. I've always admired Jess's zest for life, her uniqueness, AKA the courage and ability to be an unapologetic weirdo. My bond with Jess is so strong that we've even talked about making it official. Yes, back in the day we joked or agreed about marrying each other if we couldn't find a suitable partner by a certain age. But Jess's impeccable intuition knew that her perfect man was out there, so I had to settle for her cousin James. <laughs> Kidding, you know I love you. Jess is the ultimate catch. I think you're going to hear that a lot tonight. She's stunningly beautiful, an amazing cook, a bit of a MacGyver, has a wealth of mostly useful information, and can make you blush by telling you a pretty sick and dirty joke that she of course learned from her father, Bill. <laughs> She is practically the modern day Martha Stewart with a mouth like a truck driver and the ability to kick almost anyone's ass if need be. Now don't get me wrong, Jess also has a sweet and nurturing side. When I was pregnant with my first child, I casually mentioned to her that the only thing I was craving was lemon, lemon loaf bread, something I never really wanted before. But sure enough, a few days later, she showed up on my doorstep with homemade lemon loaf bread. That's just how she is. And when my grandmother passed away a few years ago, I didn't give Jess any details on arrangements, but sure enough, she drove to Philly to pay her respects and support me in one of my most difficult moments without me even asking her to be there. A gesture I'll always cherish and hold close to my heart. Jeremy, I think this goes without saying, but I would be remiss if I didn't remind you, especially on tonight, you are one lucky bald man. <laughs> you have hit the ultimate jackpot, and neither I nor Jess will ever let you forget it. In fact, I remember the first time Jess introduced us. We were at a housewarming party, and Jess walked in with who at first glance I thought was Mr. Clean, perhaps? Yeah. You're a dapper dude. I love you. This is all out of fun. 
After my first conversation with Jeremy, I gathered he had total chaotic energy and was also a complete unapologetic weirdo, but in the nicest way possible. I also noticed my best friend looking completely googly-eyed at him and was giddy the whole night. Jess and Jeremy are the perfect match, and I couldn't be happier they found each other. They have that once-in-a-lifetime kind of love. Not only do they ground each other, but they challenge each other and make each other better people. To the newlyweds, don't forget to love and hold on to each other, even in your darkest moments, and believe me, there will be plenty. You've already built a barn. I think you know what I'm talking about, right? There's more to come. But also, don't forget to celebrate and take pleasure in the joy and happiness of the new family you are creating. With that, everyone, please raise a glass to the new Mr. and Mrs. Zillis. Through thick and thin And even when the world has other plans No matter what we face and where we land Well, I will always be your man Be your man Wanna take the longest trail with you The one that starts right when we say I do From Mary Hall to Brianna Drive To Grand Moraine up the mountainside We'll keep chasing this I love so true 